only girl out of five boys in an Italian family, so needless to say I was spoiled and I got my own way all the time um, in my life and that went into my you know, adulthood. And so I always wanted my way no matter what. And I lived my way, which was um, not God's will, of course, by any means. Um, I drank and drugged for most of my life. Uh, I was blessed with two wonderful boys. Um, they're my heart. Um, but something was still missing, you know, I was lost. I had a big hole that I was trying to fill. And I guess just living the wrong way, you know, that's all I can say. It's just Angel's way wasn't right, and so I knew I had to change. Angel had to change. I was age 46, got a DUI, and I should have gotten 30 of them by then, and was without a job, without everything. I mean, my life was just ruined, and I didn't, figured I had nothing to live for, but um, I was blessed with a job, and um, my employer at the time, Jeff, and uh, Michelle invited me to come to church at the Freedom Center, and um, the minute I walked in the door, I felt really comfortable, but it was when uh, the service started, and I started crying. You know, I cried the whole service. The second week I came, same thing, but it was something in my heart just started pounding, and, Guys, are, are you ready? Are you ready to come home? Are you ready to come home? I mean, seriously, he did. I was like, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. And I ran up to the altar. Just ran. I mean, it was just, it was, I'll never forget it. It was just awesome. Um, and it's been home ever since. I'm just so blessed. I'm not being totally honest with myself, him mostly, but with myself if I was smoking. You know, I used to feel really like, oh my gosh, they're going to smell it, or I had to put some perfume on or something. Um, but it wasn't until I was doing the Experiencing God Bible study and getting a relationship with Him and really, you know, getting a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Him, not just reading the Bible, that I really started seeing that I needed to be obedient to Him and um, be obedient to exactly what, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing and being more Christ-like. And that's, that's what it did. But, you know, I would pray and pray and it just, one, you know, took one day at a time. And I treat it like I do a drink and a drug. I just can't have the first one, but it's all because of God's strength. You know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and He's the one that does it for me. It's what I did. But through His grace and mercy, He's restored that. God is so faithful. He's restored mm. me and my family. My sons, I got to spend a week with them not about a month ago, and it was so awesome. Wow. And he's just, you know, God is so faithful, oh. and I'm just so blessed. My name is Angel Mommy, and I am a trophy. <laughs> okay. My name is Angel Mommy, and I'm a trophy of grace. Don't you know I've always loved you?